our temperatures will be taking a look on up over the next couple of days, Matt. And they will. Thank goodness, right? We're going to get more sun and we have a south wind in the forecast this weekend, especially by Sunday. Here's some good news. This is live look in Springdale. In fact, even in the Fort Smith camera that you were looking at, if we move the camera a little bit more back off towards the west, you would see some clearing off towards the west. We've got that clearing right along the state line. So Springdale, we're a little bit farther east, but when you're looking in Springdale, look at all that water. And in Springdale, we didn't get as much as some of us did in the River Valley. We got two to three inches, which that's still a lot of rainfall. That's more than half of what we generally pick up throughout the month of March, very close to half. But then in Scott County, Parts of Sebastian County, Logan County, parts of LaFleur County too, six to eight inches of water. So we've got a lot of standing water still left to go. It's this water that's just hanging around in the atmosphere that's increased our humidity. And because we're going to get colder tonight, you put those two together, you're probably going to create some fog. Watch out for some patchy fog as you're waking up tomorrow morning. There's still a lot of water standing out there. Live look in Ozark, and you're looking back off towards the west now. We're probably not really going to get much of that sun. We're a little bit farther or deeper into Arkansas as the clearing skies are taking place in Oklahoma right now. But still a beautiful shot. Always a beautiful shot here in Ozark as you're looking down the Arkansas River. All right, we have northwest winds right now. They're going to calm down overnight tonight. Right now we have the 40s. In fact, it feels like the 30s for many of us because of that northwest wind when you factor in the wind chill. But overnight, the winds will calm down. The skies are going to break up. Eventually, you're going to be able to see the stars tonight, but mainly after uh, at least overhead, probably by about 8, 9 o'clock or so, we'll start to clear out. In the River Valley, we still are holding on next to 50 for some of us, but then 40s over the next couple of hours. Tomorrow morning, watch out for some of that patchy fog. Check in with meteorologist Stephen Abshire. He'll be letting you know where the fog is. And it's not going to be widespread in everywhere, but it's going to be out there here and there. By about 8, 9 o'clock, it'll mix away, and then we're going to enjoy a lot of sunshine headed into your, your Saturday afternoon, and temperatures will be in the 60s. Should be a beautiful day for us. Here's a look at Futurecast, still working on the edge of the clouds as that all pushes off towards the east and then uh, nice sunny start tomorrow morning other than the fog if you've got fog it's sunny right above you you got a couple hundred feet of that fog and we'll try to mix that away and then uh, we're looking pretty good throughout your saturday south winds slowly coming back but you're barely going to feel them because we're only talking three four five miles per hour by Sunday, they're going to start to increase a lot more. They'll be 20 to maybe even up to 30 miles per hour coming out of the south, and that's going to help us get to the 70s. So we're, we have a big turnaround. Right now it's cold, but we're going to hit the 70s by Sunday. Beautiful weekend underway. Next week, though, we've got rain chances to talk about. The jet stream's going to sit over us, and we've got a big cold front coming in. And you put those two together, because of the, the slant of the jet stream, it maybe used to be a lot of rainfall and rather than so many storms we'll still look at the forecast as we get closer but a lot of cold air is going to start to move in we're going to end the week in the 40s after starting in the 70s i mean monday looks beautiful but then the rest of the week a lot cooler the clouds build up more showers come in several rounds of showers are likely next week and we're going to end the week in those low 50s so we've got more rainfall uh, to come it looks like march is definitely starting off on a wet note is march the one where it's in like a lion out like a lamb yeah what would you say so march First wasn't bad. It oh, was that's yesterday. True. I guess it's already the third. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's the first weekend of March. Does <laughs> so that count? It is. Okay. It still counts. Okay, good. But then the second day, well, gosh, we had five, yeah. six, seven, eight inches of rain. Would it's you say line ish? Line ish. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. We'll go with line ish. Maybe we'll end lamish. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> we'll All right. Thanks, Matt. Well, with the nice weather expected this week.